A little boy who has undergone two bone marrow transplants is locked in a brave fight for life. Elliot Vanderland's parents have been told their eldest son also has the rare condition as they strive to raise awareness about the disease. Dougal Beatty met them. Five-year-old Elliot has been treated for rare bone marrow failure for the past two years. A gruelling journey his parents have taken together with their son all the way. I'm getting new bone marrow today. New bone marrow today? Yay! But after a year in hospital, Elliot's first transplant failed. I told him that he'd lost his bone marrow. And he said, OK, Mama. I said, we're going to go get a new one. Doctors at the Royal Children's told parents Ian and Alyssa the second attempt would give Elliot a 50% chance of survival. Off he went, wheeled his little suitcase back into transplant. But there was more devastating news for the family. Their eldest son Ashton also diagnosed with the same genetic condition. Uh, we just monitor Ashton now. Yeah. Um, his bone marrow is fluctuating, it's up and down. He's the, the likelihood that he'll need a transplant before he's 18 is extremely high. Elliot suffers a bone marrow failure that claimed the life of Maddie Rewalt. He'll again run out on the footy ground for Maddie's match on July 20. Funds raised go towards finding an elusive cure. No answers. You know, there's not enough research into it. We need to know why. Not just for him, but for others as well. At the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre, researchers like Dr Piers Blombury are uncovering more about the insidious genetic disease. Not knowing what the diagnosis is, not knowing what's causing it, um, whether other siblings are going to, going to be, um, develop this, this um, syndrome as well. So far, the initial signs from Elliot's second transplant have been positive. Bone marrow is working! Yay! The family appreciating every moment with their special boys. We don't know what's going to happen or when it's going to happen, but we can make these memories while, while everyone's healthy. And tough little Elliot's resilient, truly an inspiration. So thank you everyone for thinking of me. Thinking of me. I love you all. Bye. Dougal Beatty, Nine News.